The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Olao Lukoyede, says the fight against corruption is not personal, but rather it's to ensure accountability among leaders and persons entrusted with public funds. He made this statement outside the headquarters of the commission in Abuja while receiving members of the National Association of Nigeria Students, NAS. Phyllis Nairia reports. <laughs> NAS, in a peaceful demonstration outside the commission's headquarters, carried plan cards with various inscriptions showing support to the commission in its fight against corruption. They commended the commission for the job it is doing, but pleaded that suspects who were found innocent should be allowed to return home to their families. To fight against anybody or any officers that is not protecting or respecting human rights during the course of operation, we are happy to uh, with your response. Due to the viral video that came out two weeks ago, you, you, you sanctioned the officers, and I think that is enough. Yes, sir. Because that shows your responsiveness. Yes. Anytime the operation is going on, anytime innocent people are also arrested, once they are found not guilty, they should be allowed to go to enjoy their freedom. The chairman of the commission assured the Nigerian students that the EFCC will continue to sanction its overzealous officers and he explained the circumstances surrounding the arrest of 127 alleged internet fraudsters in Odom State. As I'm talking to you, about 127 people were arrested. It was a Yahoo party. Forget about what we are saying. It was a Yahoo party. They came from nine local governments. Yahoo party. And so as it is now, we 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 brought what one twenty-seven of them suspected, and then we discovered that one hundred and thirteen of them were indicted. One thirteen. We have five charges against almost eighty of them. The remaining will have their days in court. He emphasized the need to give President Bola Tinubu the needed support to tackle corruption. The EFCC chairman narrated how he was profiled in South Asia when he attended the Financial Action Tax Force meeting. We want to thank Mr. President, who has created the student loans project program for students. Now the essence of that is that you don't have to do Yahoo Yahoo for you to be able to pay your school fees. The fight against corruption is a collective effort of every individual, and the EFCC chairman says it is not by any means a witch hunt, but a way to sanitize the Nigerian system. Celestina Iria, TVC News.